You're watching All To Play For, brought to you by Joe and Coral. Hello and welcome to All To Play For, brought to you by Joe and Coral, with me, Steve Sidwell, and of course, Joe Cole. Now, joining us today uh, is a man that we've been trying to get on for a very long time. Um, an England international and probably uh, one of the most funniest blokes in football. Uh, a big goal scorer in big games, and that's why he's got the tag of having the two hundred million pound left foot. Uh, it's great to have on the show our mate Bobby Zamora. Is that the tag? Yeah, two hundred million. I don't know. I'm a bit disappointed like with that because that. that was just one goal. Nah, surely I know inflation in that current market <laughs> so, value so, or what. So we know. talk. So basically, uh, listen. Let's put it up to a bill, eh? <laughs> so, so basically, what Bob's saying there is we're talking about the playoff goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it was West Ham West and Ham. Derby. Against Derby, wasn't it? West Ham, Sorry, West Ham against Preston. Preston, and then QPR. Yeah, they're against. Oh, so put, let's go, let's so let's put a, a price tag. I thought it was hundred million. I thought it was a hundred million I, I, pound game, yeah, wasn't I it? it hundred million pound. It's the most expensive game in world football. Yeah. yeah. Like I've never. Have you? You? You would played. Have you played? Playoff I didn't final? play in the playoff final. No. What, what's that like, Bob? No. Going into that, like. That, that do, game, do you know what? Pressure. <clears throat> There's more pressure in that than I think any anything else. Just purely the fact that you know that. Yeah. That. The guys. Mm. Behind, so the groundsmen, the, the the people in the kitchen, everybody yeah. at the club. Yeah. Listen, if you don't go, the, the situation anyway at QPR yeah. was, if we don't go up, there are so many people getting the axe, yeah, like yeah. so many people to look after you day in day out yeah, at the training yeah. ground, you yeah. know. So um, uh, yeah, I mean for that reason, it becomes a real, real big pressure game that you know that people that are close to you, yeah. there's so much riding on it. Yeah, I've talked, I remember talking to the sorry, I remember talking to the West Ham boys, and they were saying like all of them in their contracts had like fifty percent rises <laughs> after the game. Yeah, and they're like, imagine that, like you know, that's why they celebrate games. Yeah. It was going mad. That's why they were doing the worm across the pitch on the final whistle. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, we're going to come on to that later on. Uh, Bob's obviously we know each other really well from our Brighton and Fulham days. We'll talk about that uh, going into the into the show. But let's go right back. I want to go back to Senrab FC, your old Sunday League team. So I might believe uh, I'm right in saying that John Terry, Ledley King, J Lloyd Samuel was Nicky Shorey in there in your team. No, Nicky, well? Paul Konchesky. Paul Konchesky, all all in the same Sunday League team. Yeah. Wow, tell us about that. How did that come about? Or is it all local lads? Uh, no, there was a big kitty, all paid us uh, 50 <laughs> quid a day. <laughs> As a kid, you know, it's a lot of sweets. <laughs> but no, no. Um, yeah, just um, I played for a Sunday side before that, but um, was very close. District, um, I played for my district side at the time, which was, was Newham. Yeah. Uh, the goalkeeper was Paul Nichols. His dad was the, um, was the manager of the team, uh, very close pals, and he was like, listen, we, you know, We've got this yeah. team, yeah. gonna be powerful. So there was a little bit of transfer uh, negotiations <laughs> going on, no, but ended up going joining them. But JT was there, Ledley. What age is this? <clears throat> Did you concede 13. any goals? You had JT and Ledley JT, King. Yeah, well, JT was sent him in field, wasn't he? Oh, Ledley he was, was at the yeah. back. JT, Ledley, the back. Ledley King, J Lloyd, Samuel Conch, and yourself in yeah. the same team. Yeah, and there was wow. a few. There was a few others that made it pro as well. But yeah. I mean, the, the the remarkable and the mad thing for me is that all like the, the five that you're you're talking about, you know, all managed to get. Play for play for England. Unfortunately, not all at the same time, which would have been mental. Wow. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it would, yeah, it would have all. Oh yeah, that would have been yeah, amazing. But, oh. but so so just going back to that that time, then obviously that like, you're only kids there. But did, was there an element where even adults around you or dads were thinking like these boys here, these these have got a chance of making it, or is it just literally a kick about and having fun? I think at like age 13, 14, <clears throat> in my head anyway, it was. I always remember the the parents and and. Uh, being told by coaches and people at clubs, you know, that, listen, you know, maybe one of you might make it as a pro and yeah. we were good players and winning games and walking the leagues and cups and all those parts of footy. But, yeah, in the back of my head, it was like, okay, one of us, maybe one of us will make it pro. So, yeah, at 13, I don't think I mm. thought that that many would go on and, 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 and make yeah. it to, yeah. in a career. Because Bob was at West Ham with me. Year above me, so I used to train with. with when we had like Contras there, Fitzhall, yeah, Fitzhall, and you were up front, weren't yeah, you? And, yeah. and then you had like who else would have been there? Like Michael Carrick coming later into the group, Eddie Newton, Sean Byrne, Ed, Adam Newton, Adam Sean Burns. So, you, so yeah. you was at West Ham as a kid, <clears throat> yeah, before. Yeah, why, why did you leave? Um, uh, there was there was a few there was a few reasons really that mm. uh, I mean, I, I you know, you have your satellite. Satellite yeah. places. We yeah. obviously was at Chad Relief, and then they yeah. had one in Red in nothing, right. yeah. and then they had one up north where Carras was. Yeah. Um, and then at a certain age, there was a merge. Yeah. And I didn't. I certainly didn't get as much game time <clears throat> as I wanted. I mean, right. obviously that 
they're trying to merge all the players. But yeah, um, yeah, it just it just wasn't wasn't a great fit for me really. And I yeah. thought, you know, I think I can go uh, I can go elsewhere, um, play play some footy. But uh, yeah, it wasn't to be, yeah. and uh, went all the way around and then turned back up back at Upton Park. So on on that Sydney one, they obviously had a pull in terms of getting players like yourself in. But even like presentation night, like, is it true that Ebbs Bobby Moore handing out? Yeah, yeah. Present, yeah, presentation awards yeah, and Tony man. Adams. Did he come down? Yeah, here? crazy. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know how that happened. I mean, for me as a, as a kid, do you know what I mean. You're, I've got to stop you there. Yeah. Sorry, because we had um, who's the who's the girl from Birds of a Feather? Sharon. I played for Chapel Market. We had Sharon. Hey, I've got a picture with her, <laughs> mate. But by the way, it was at the height of Birds of a Feather, so it was like a big coup, oh, yeah, yeah, a big yeah. coup for the club. Someone, <laughs> so I think, some one of the mums knew her. Or something. Someone's gone right. Let's go for an East End Essex <laughs> finest. Who can yeah, we get? All oh, right, Sharon from Birds of a Feather, mate. I'm real. I'm real. Wow. Well, I think we got Ian Bill down for East Enders, <laughs> but <laughs> to us. Uh, Bob's. Let's talk Brighton. Um, so that's where we, we first met. Uh, just before we go on to that, you're a big part of their history, Brighton. I know where they've got to now and they're playing really well and they're in the Premier League, but you've got to look at yourself and I know you look at the club fondly, but you've got to look at, at, at what you, the, the part that you played in getting that football club to where they were because you've gotten back-to-back promotions and the goals that you scored and you certainly put them on the path. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, I, was, I was actually, I was at the game um, yesterday, the Chelsea game yesterday, and... Uh, um, I was speaking to, uh, to to a fan there, and he, he said, "You know, you again, you were unbelievable. You you, you got this club where where they are now." So I said, "No, nah, we had a real good si- uh, yeah. side. We genuinely did. You know it as well. Yeah. You know, Watto, Danny Cullet, Charlie Oway, just that whole changing room as well. To um, to uh, and and that makes so much difference for me anyway. For me, just having a great changing yeah. room. You know, yeah. you've got a great changing room." On a Saturday, that's fifty percent of the work done. Just you know, you're going to back your power, and, yeah. and then it's the rest of it just being focused. But that changing room, the players that were there yeah. were were unbelievable. I mean, we had we had uh, Paul Watson, who must have made God knows how many goals for me. Mm. Just a little understanding, a couple of yeah. movements. He was a fullback, so yeah. I could make runs, go short, spin long, and yeah. he could put quick little free kicks and stuff. You know, so I, I remember because back in the day, we'd be playing for West Ham. Also, we knew Bob because he was in the youth team with us, and back in the day when no one was on the DVD players and you had the radio on and the Brighton score would come in. You know, yeah. we'd listen to the leagues. Yeah. Bobby Always. Zamora too. Yeah. Yeah. I think, well, he's going to be happy when we go to the time and then Envy later on. Where he was in the country, he was at home in Fiji right, at the time and Envy. Listen, that, that was a mad old school of meet up to it. Wherever, it. wherever any yeah. of the boys were, you know what I mean, JT yeah, yeah, yeah. as well, do you know yeah, what I mean, yeah. Cara, you, yeah. wherever it was. <laughs> We can all get back to Romford as quick as we could. I remember driving, right? I remember driving my I'd be car. in the car with you. Yeah. yeah. As far as we could go yeah. up north. We'd play not we'd play not in the forest away and he'd drive to like the service station and go, <laughs> right, bring your gear, we're gonna go after it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Boom, chuck it in there and all right, cheers, we off we go bam. Hundred and what? No, sorry, seventy two miles an hour all the way over. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. my first memory of Bob when I signed for Brighton, so I, I signed for Brighton on loan from Arsenal, so I was only 19, so I've come out of yeah. London Colney, all nice yeah. and posh, under floor yeah. heat, you know what it's yeah. like. Get down to the Bifteen Stadium, we train at the stadium uh, on the pitch with the running track around it. Mm. Uh, and I'm and they've, they've brought the contract down as I'm going out to train for a <laughs> session. So the secretary's in the stand, you know, like, as I, I, I got the pen and paper out of this, as I'm about to sign, all I've, all I've heard is, don't sign! <laughs> don't sign! <laughs> I've looked up, I'm like, who's that? You're going to sign your life away! <laughs> I remember that, I've forgotten it, but I remember it now. And I'm I like, remember. who is this? And then when I see it, I thought, uh, oh, he'll do for me. And yeah. like 20 years later on, we obviously yeah, were still right. best pals. Yeah. So. <laughs> don't sign! Uh, it was like the scene from Goonies. You know what I mean? They were on the beach and they signed yeah, the papers. Yeah. The Spanish little girl, <laughs> don't sign! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I've fond memories. So, I, 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 I've done well. For, I, I made almost all his goals at Brighton mm-hmm. that season. He owes yeah, me massive. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's what he says. Yeah, he give he, he give me the ball in the halfway line. And I dribbled. Like, oh, leave it, out, leave it. <laughs> we go back. Find a bit of footage. Edit it in. Put it in. Well, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, that year we well I left halfway through that year. I went to Reading. Yeah, you went for more money. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and we got really well. The team got relegated, uh, unfortunately. But you got your move to Tottenham. Yep. Uh, why it was obviously short and sweet. Why? Why do you think it didn't work out, at Spurs? Um, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, Glenn Oddle signed me, mm. so um, the manager signs you. He's got his confidence in you. Yeah. Um, 
uh, and then he got sacked. You know, how uh, long into uh, that he season? He got six months in the six months in the yeah. when I was there, maybe five months. What's, so, what was it like working with Glenn? That short that short space. Unbelievable, really unbelievable. Well, I'm sure you've yeah, got yeah, stories. Yeah. You know what I mean about about seeing him and uh, how he trains. I mean, I had him at, at QPR as well. Yeah, and uh, I remember it at Spurs. Um, after training, there was uh, I was actually sat down watching. <laughs> watching obviously, it's summertime. Yeah. It's nice. I was just yeah. sat down. Bag of balls. Robbie Keane, Jamie Redknapp. I think Sully was in goal. Uh, mannequins up, and they were just trying to you know whip free kicks yeah. and and just put him into the top corner. Bang, close, yet yeah, oh, crossbar keeper. Yeah. And Glenn's there, shorts rolled up, obviously, <laughs> like just watching. He's like, nah, 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 boys. Nah, 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 nah. He gets one ball, walks back, takes about three steps. Dum, 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 bam. I mean, top, top corner. And I can see Redder's face <laughs> and Robbie's face. Like, <laughs> but he was just uh, like, uh, he's like, honestly, unbelievable. And then yeah. QPR, I remember we're doing a warm up one morning. He's got this ball. And he's doing kick-ups, right? But he's not. He's side swiping them, side volleying them yeah. directly up. So just spinning it up, just in like the air. back. But I mean the shape. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It's high. Your knees high. You're up over the ball, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's. But he's done about fifteen or twenty. Not mate. I, I kid you not. I kid you not. <laughs> Most unbelievable thing I think I've ever seen. You know, you just don't. You, I, I, I know he's a fantastic player. Yeah, I know, yeah. And but just to see that, I couldn't do that. I don't know. I actually uh, don't know anybody like proper yeah. sideswiping. Yeah. And I, pff, yeah. He, he sometimes does me on um, when we do the, the television and he talks about football and I'll be sitting there going, what do you think of that? And the goal's gone and he went, oh, the, he, what he needs to do is he needs to put a bit of backspin but then take a little <laughs> bit off of it and just leave it in that place. Yeah. Like, and like, he's like, he's talking Russian or something. Yeah. So he talks about football on another level. Yeah, mm. yeah but he was, he was special. But I, I loved my time there. Yeah. Like I said, I, I, I went to Spurs, young kids, like I say, Jamie, Gus Poyer, yeah. Robbie, Kari, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Some, some experienced players, some great players. Ledley was there, so it was great for me yeah. to go in the change room. Already knew him. Yeah. Um, so it was a good good learning curve. But for me, I, I mean, I went now, I scored one goal, started six games, but we signed Helder Postiga at the time as well. So he was like the Portuguese version of me, really. Sort yeah. Of young, scoring I mean, goals. Didn't we play against him for the 21s? Was it, yeah. Was that, I think we, we he would have that's what it was. Yeah. Ronaldo, Charisma, and him. Yeah. Up front, yeah, yeah. Tottenham, and, Tottenham, Tottenham got the worst sort of three there, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but for me, it, they they signed him for ten million euros. Yeah. So in my mind, it was right. You got to be nine times the player I am. You, if I score yeah. one, you got to score nine. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. For me, I felt quite relaxed. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. he didn't go and hit the ground running. He no. done. He, he had pretty much a very very similar time to me at Spurs in terms of. Yeah. He, he weren't banging in goals, but yeah. I was happy with my time there. Absolutely loved it. The opportunity came for me in January to go to West Ham, team that I su support, um, and to try and get him back in the Prem. Leeds came in for us at, at, at the time as well, who were already in the Prem yeah. Um, yeah. in that January transfer window. And I just thought, do you know what? I, I want to be at West Ham. So you, you go to West Ham, and <laughs> did that feel like coming home? Because you're a West Ham, you're an East End lad, you're a West Ham fan. Did that feel like, when you got into the building, did you feel like straight away, I like this environment, I like this culture. Because you, you perform, again, you're an icon at Brighton, QPR, West Ham. But you, did you feel like when you walked into that, in, in, uh, in that dressing, uh, dressing room and training ground, it was like, this is home for me? Like I said before, the change room makes so much difference, doesn't it? And I yeah. remember walking into that change room and just being a good English lads. Yeah. Half the fucking battle, innit, really? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and just being comfortable um, uh, at the club. Again, a club that I knew, so many faces mm. I already knew there. Um, so it was just it was just easy going and uh, walking out at Upton Park. Uh, we played Cardiff at home, um, and obviously I'm forever blowing bubbles. He's singing. Yeah. I remember the hairs on the back of my I'm singing it, yeah. walking out and singing it, and I'm like, this is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then we, we won one 0 I scored. I was like, this is like the dream yeah, dream yeah, debut. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it was uh, it was uh, 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 nice to be back at. At West Ham. 2005, you, the playoffs. Mm. 2005, so you scored a couple uh, in the semi-finals, didn't you? Yeah. Against, was it Ipswich? Yeah, Ipswich, yeah. And then the final against Preston. Absolute banger on that one, by the way. Marlon, was, was it? Yeah. Marlon, like, yeah. Get that one out, dig that one out, yeah, <laughs> that rope, lay that over the top. 
Joe would be happy with that yeah, for sure. Uh-huh. Nice. Go, yeah, come over to the You've got a nice collection of goals, haven't you? They're, yeah, they're all right. Uh, yeah, we, need, nice we need to get the Zamora top 10 involved. He's got what about some that one bangers. In the, the one in the Prem where you've done all sorts and... Right, was it against... Permanent. 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 Oh, yeah. Mate, some, wasn't it? Mate, you yeah. had me off my sofa with that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. If Ronaldo or Messi had done it, it'd still be mm-hmm. on Sky Sports now. They're, exactly. they're getting rerun, but exactly. that's in He's a scorer of big goals, so. Bob. Uh, I, I just want to go back to that Preston goal. So you said mm. there about pressure at QPR, but there was also massive pressure at West Ham because expectations, isn't it, at West Ham? And now getting back to the Premier League where they've near enough always been. Tell me that feeling when that... Because obviously I was watching that at home as well. Tell me the feeling when that ball comes to you and you're about to literally put it in the back of the net against Preston in the playoff final. I just remember the game. We were, we were very confident. We were, we were in a good place. And although the scoreline was just 1-0 at the end of the day, but it was we were just uh, in a nice place and comfortable. I just knew it was going to come. It was going to mm. it was going to happen. But yeah, as that ball comes across, and it wasn't the greatest or the cleanest strike for me. But um, yeah, those are the ones that do the keeper sometimes yeah, and yeah. that's what happens. So... Yeah, just a relief. And I, I remember after the goal, actually after the goal and kicking off again, I remember thinking that we're not going to concede here. We just, we just, we're in a real, real good place. I came off in the last 10 or 12 minutes with cramp. That was the worst. Yeah. Because yeah, when yeah. you're playing, you, 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 you don't think about anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those 12 minutes oh, were absolute hell. Oh, but yeah. it seemed like, seemed like another 90. So, um, yeah, managed to ride it out and yeah, got that, got that win. Going into that game, you was you, you was favourite to go into that game. Did you feel pressure, as in, or did you think we're going to win this? Well, like, what was your yeah. mindset? Or was it nah. was it was there a nervy thinking this playoffs it could go either way, or was you like, no, this is this is going to be our day today? Yeah, I think so. There was no pressure. I think we had experience of losing in a final the previous yeah, year as well to Palace. Yeah. Um, so we were quite relaxed. I think I think we'd done them already in the season a yeah. few times as well. So you yeah. know, we just know yeah. today's our day. Yeah, I, that's the that's the vibe I certainly had yeah. anyway. I was. I was happy, and again, for a striker yeah. scoring in the semis leading up to it, you just know that you get a chance, you're going to put it away. What was the celebrations like after? Because <clears throat> that's the first time you've gone up through the playoffs. Simon and Emmy? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> got banned from there the year before, didn't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, West Ham, we, we was once banned from TGI Fridays in Leicester Square. In Leicester Square. Yeah. Yeah. June Bucks. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah know June Bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a few of them. I don't know if he's still going, we'll have to ask. Yeah. No, uh, celebrations, I don't know. I know we had to have a parade the next day, I think. So there was a few sore heads flying about. But so. There's a great picture, isn't there? I sent it to you when after you'd done the QPR playoff goal, where it's literally as a screenshot of Bob as he's about to hit the goal with West Ham yeah. in 2005 and yeah. in QPR right next to each other. What's the, other. what's the time frame between them? I don't know, however many years. And the technique and the sight, like it's exactly the same. Is it exactly yeah. the yeah. same? Both on his left foot, just culture, just putting the arms, the hands. The, yeah, yeah, the yeah whole, it's a great the whole bang. But it's, um, I, I suppose that's just muscle repetition, isn't it? You yeah, know, you, yeah, you, yeah. for however many years you're doing shooting after training, yeah. it's just the same shape you're going to create every single time, yeah. and and then it becomes instinct, and it really, and that ball drops. Yeah. You do the same thing, you, you you put it away. So do you know, um, like that game when you win it, does. Because it's so important for the club on a business level. Does like the di- do you, did the directors or the owner come down to celebrate with you? Because imagine for them sitting up there, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, that, million. That's like their, yeah, yeah. You know, for them it's huge. It's, well, because half the time it's the gamble. Yes, you pay money to get out the championship. Yeah. To yeah, and uh, that, that we'd obviously gone, we'd gone down. So there was obviously a lot of players on a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they were they were forking out. So it obviously. Yeah, meant a, meant a hell of a lot to mm. them. They, yeah, they came down. I think <coughs> Tony Fernandez was on Joey Barton's shoulders when he at yeah, one point. Yeah. I was thinking, God, if he falls, it's going to be one hell of an earthquake somewhere <laughs> around the world. <laughs> but uh, but um, no, it was, um, yeah, a, a good day, a nice day. I was very, very boring afterwards, though. I literally drove home. Really? My family went to the pub down the bottom road. I had a cup of tea on my own and just, uh, and just sat on me Todd. Well, I have to like you, Bob. I was old though, don't I? Do you know what I mean? I've changed, mate, yeah. and days You've gone. You've done it all, yeah. yeah. Well, we're talking the good uh, good <clears> days. <throat> Let's talk Fulham and the Europa League run because that has got to be has got to be ranked up there with one of the highlights of your career. Yeah, some fantastic uh, <clears throat> places we went, some great teams we come up against and and turned them over. So uh, yeah, again, it's that changing room. Just yeah. you know, on paper, you look at us and go, yeah, some good players, some good players, yeah. but. 
But what, te- what teams did you beat on the on the route to let's you, just remind people Juventus? of the, the teams? Yeah, we do, yeah Juventus on the quite, way to the final. Wow. Wow. Wolfsburg, which were the actual German champions, yeah. we beat them home and away. Uh, um, Hamburg, um, very good side Van Nistelrooy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was there a Boateng, Shakhtar, Shakhtar yeah. Donetsk, who were yeah. still that's to this day, I think that that they had Fernandinho and uh, William. William, yeah, 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 yeah. They, had, they had a few of them. That's amazing. Yeah, what a run that team. is for Fulham. That, 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 that Shakhtar team, I remember the first game at home thinking, F- yeah. you know, yeah. like this is like FIFA, like they're just going bing, 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 yeah, bing, yeah. bing, 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 bing. But yeah, we uh, yeah took our chances. You, you scored six goals, uh, I think, on the mm. road or the route to the final. Why do you think you... Excelled so much in that competition. I mean, you have done well in the Premier League as well, but I, I, I mean, I'll tell you because technically, Bob Bob was un, underrated because which happens a lot with big strikers. They yeah. look at the phys, like the physics, physical things he can do, but he's, he was a finisher. So well, the Europe, you saying the European the football, European football style, would have suited him. Style, yeah, hundred percent. If I'd have gone, like, if, if you'd have gone played and played in, in Spain or, or Italy, I think they would because what happens with big guys traditionally, in our age, in my opinion, is. The way we used to play, it would have been thrown up to his neck. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Same with Crouchy to a certain degree. Like, yeah. but you know, deal with that head up, be yeah. physical. But, but when if you play it to his feet, he's as good as any yeah. forward with the ball around his feet. Some totally of the goals true. he scored. So I think he would have thrived in the um, certainly international football, but also European football. Hundred yeah. percent. You could have told me that about fifteen years. Sorry, ago, Keith. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> I might have won some silverware. <laughs> Knowing you for as long as I have, and and when we spoke about football, you've never you've never really spoke about football, and you've always just mm. sort of used football not as a job, but it, it is what it is. But when you look back now, mm. in play, you played in a, a European Cup final. I mean, it's it's a massive mm. achievement, and you only just lost, was it? Was it a, a yeah late goal, late, late goal, goal yeah. extra time? Full land. Uh No, not extra time. It's like oh, in the eight. game, yes, that's yeah. right. I mean. Do you look back now at certain games and you go, I mean, although you didn't win it, but just, like, that's some achievement. I probably wish that uh, I'd have won something, yeah. really, like a, a like a, a proper trophy, yeah. really, like l- losing in the FA Cup final mm. with mm. West Ham. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Being hand on the trophy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, just 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 something because, like yeah. you say, yeah, great career, twenty years, some great memories, some fantastic things. Just yeah. one one real yeah. one real piece of silverware, really. Um, is 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 the only thing missing for me, but um, but yeah, wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't change I wouldn't change the journey that I went on in terms of playing every single division. You know, yeah. playing at so many of those grounds, Carlisle yeah. away, Plymouth, yeah. and yeah. yeah, Scunthorpe on a Tuesday night. Yeah, do you feel like that you made it appreciate it more when you got to the yeah the, definitely the top echelons? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, but it was just it was just you know wanting to challenge myself. The challenge yeah. is there every single every single season. Okay, yeah. Can you score goals? Can yeah. you prove yourself? Can you get oh, another level? Can you do it? Can yeah. you do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're playing at the Premier League. Okay, can you go, can you play for your country? Yeah. yeah. And it, and for me it was it was it was good as well because like you say the kids that were in that Sunday side for me, they were already there. Yeah. So yeah. JT, Ledley, Conch, all those guys were already in the Prem yeah, yeah. and playing and I was like, "Oh, I'm going to play catch up." Yeah. And boom 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 just just uh took me time and went round round the houses and and got there in the end. Yeah. Mm. Um, just quickly, tell us a quick story on the the travel to the the final. Because wasn't there? The, was it the volcano? Oh yeah, time? the old ash cloud that went. Yeah, when it. So you remember? couldn't fly. Yeah, this, couldn't is, this, fly. Is, this is the travel to the, you, you, the um... semi final Hamburg. The final was actually in Hamburg, but mm. we had Hamburg at the, in the semi. Yeah. Mm. Um, and obviously there was that ash cloud. You couldn't fly. All that sort of stuff. So we had to get coaches from there to Germany. Twenty three hours, I think, on the coach it was. What, when um, did you, what day did you go? For? Must have been three days before the game. Yeah, we stopped somewhere and had a kick <clears throat> and, and slept one night. Um, yeah. But uh, this is it. Uh, Semi final of the European Cup. And we've got to sit on a thing. And then uh, and then the second leg was back at ours. And obviously you could fly by then. So yeah, they yeah, were yeah. like, sweet, lovely. Front, these yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. these guys are going to be knackered. But um, but uh, yeah, that was that was a mental a mental mental day. Actually, I remember we oh, <laughs> could have been so <laughs> could have been so different. <laughs> we're on the coach, obviously on this motorway. I don't, God knows where in Europe driving. Pretty fast. All of a sudden, I got Chris Baird in front of me, so he's, he creates yeah. goals for me. He, yeah. he gives me some fantastic balls, so he's a big part of my the way I, <laughs> how I, way I was playing. I got him in front of me. All of a sudden, the brakes go on this on this yeah. uh, on the coach. I mean, 
like an emergency stop. <laughs> there must have been a three-year-old kid like stood in the middle of the road going like that about <laughs> 10 foot away. Because the brakes go on this thing. Chrissy Baird, I swear, from the back of the coach, he flies like backwards. <laughs> <laughs> like that. All I see is him go, what up, arms. I don't know how he hasn't hit his head somewhere. Because if he had yeah. it, he would have definitely been gone, yeah. finished. Yeah. But I just remember looking at him. I go like that, put my hand on the chair in front. Yeah. He's going like backwards, flying back. And I just, <laughs> but mad, and then and then it turns out that we're in we're in this traffic for like three hours. Like there was a major crash yeah. or whatever it was. We're sat in this traffic for three hours, sweltering hot as well. Do you know what I mean? Get out. I think we planned two touch on the in the, on the hard action. shoulder. Yeah, really. yeah, bad. mad. But um, yeah, some journey. Right. Let's uh, let's tie a, go to what really happened. So they're going to go back to a moment in your career. If we want to find out more about it. So let's go back to 2010, and you've just been selected to play for England. Mm. Um, how did you find out? You were at uh, Fulham at the time, wasn't you? You was playing really well. Fulham, out, playing you well. Got selected. Or what, did, what, what was the feeling like to know that, as you said there, you've been, you know, you said that the JTs, the Conscious, they was already there, your Ledleys, and then now you've been selected to play for England. Joe, was you part of the squad when Bob's was? Um, any, well, I've been when, in the squad with Bob, but my I finished in 2010. Like, that was my well, the World Cup was my last game. South Africa. Yeah. Wow. At 29, <clears throat> nearly 30. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, 29. I was yeah. 30 in a few months. Yeah, so that was my last game. So we. I don't. I don't know. Chips, yeah. I don't know if I played for England. Did I play for England before the World Cup? Because you, I was. I, I was meant to go. To you the had World an injury, Cup. didn't you? You, you had a. Yeah. I, I, obviously, that European run was that season. Yeah. I was. I didn't go to the World Cup because I needed an operation on my Achilles, hmm. which was horrible. That was, <laughs> that, that's that's one thing that I actually regret. Yeah. We're going way off. off yeah, yeah. No, 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 let's go. We're going off course here, but. So that European run, that back end of that season, I couldn't, I couldn't do ninety minutes. Yeah. I, I came off five minutes into the second half of the final. Right. Probably shouldn't have played, but I yeah. did. Yeah. Um, desperate to play in, in the game, really. Um, and I've had Fabio Capello calling me just before round to say, you know, I want you to come to the World Cup. Yeah. And in my, I've got to make a decision. I'm speaking to the to the doctor and the physio. Yeah. I need the operation. I don't want. I, yeah, I didn't want to go to the World Cup and not be able to train, which I yeah. wouldn't have been able to train. Like, yeah, yeah, if yeah, I yeah. train, I'd have been right for two days. Yeah. If I don't train, I've got you, JT, Rio, Lamps, all those guys looking at looking at like looking at him. What's he doing here? He's, yeah, he can't yeah, even yeah. train. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, was yeah, it, was yeah. you was you that bad that you literally was just getting wheeled out for games, for games. at Fulham? Yeah, having injections in my Achilles wow. and. Yeah, all sorts. Wow. Like, just it was just horrible that back end of the season. And Fabio said, "Look, we'll look after you. We can, you know, we'll, don't worry. We'll manage you yeah. right." But in my head, I'm thinking, right, well, I'm going to be away for six weeks. I want to get, I want to be able to play. I want to. I hated the way that I felt in terms of not being able to train, not being able to play. Yeah. So I was like juggling with two two situations: do I get the operation and and be ready for the start of next season, yeah. or do I go to the World Cup, feel like an absolute lemon now? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Not being able to train and play. Yeah, that's one regret. I probably should have gone just for the experience and being part yeah. of it. And uh, Colton, and Colton ended up going, didn't he? Coley uh, mm. ended up going, but but I, I should have, um, I should have, should have gone just yeah. for the experience. It's important that because fans don't, they don't understand that sometimes no. like playing with injections in your Achilles yeah. and you're not feeling right, and, you, and then you've got these big decisions to make. Fans just see <clears> you're. They're, they pay the money, they go and watch you play, mm. and, and and rightly so to a certain degree, and they, they don't have the consideration of how you're feeling with your body. I remember the same thing, but I had about three, four months at, at Chelsea when I was I had injections in knee and ankles to play. Yeah. And you're like... Horrible. And you go out there and you can't yeah, perform as no. you do, and you're getting judged on your performances, yeah. Yeah. but you know as well as I do, there are players yeah. that if they've got a cold... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not gonna play. And you think to yourself, like, the team needs mm. you... you, you know, that's a, that's a balancing yeah. act as well, yeah. isn't it? You know, yeah. can you perform enough to 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 be able to deliver? But do you look after yourself? Mm. I was always one that was stupid. Well, stupid, yeah, I'd say yeah. stupid, but yeah, just try and take a yeah. <laughs> have injections yeah. and all sorts yeah. of stuff to try and play. But yeah, like you say, people don't realise what what players are going through. We've all yeah. we've all been there, you know. What I mean? Yeah, mm. I mean that is some judgment call to have, isn't yeah. it? Oh, like in terms yeah, of going yeah. to a World Cup. Yeah. Which is every kid's dream. Yeah. Every kid's dream. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. And then you're thinking about your health in terms of the longevity, yeah. like or, mm. or the next season. Yeah. Do, 
Did you have people around you to speak to, or did you, or was it purely a case of you just made the the, the decision by yourself? Um, yeah, I spoke to a couple of people, but it was it was just, yeah, it was it's just hard, really. Mm. Not just knowing, just not. I, like I say, at the time I thought, yeah, right. I had the operation. I haven't had a problem since. Right. With it, so it solved the, it solved yeah, the problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now looking back, it's like shit. That's the World Cup. Yeah. You know? Like. I really, really should have gone. Really yeah. should have gone. But again, like I say, I'm sat there. Mm. I wouldn't have been able to train. As it happens, it was a World Cup yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I dodged much, the mate. bullet a little you bit there. didn't miss much. No. So. Dodged the bullet. Yeah. Do you look back now, you two, in terms of it, like injections, painkillers, thinking, oh, we've done it different or? Yeah, I would have done. Yeah, I would have done. Really? Yeah, 100%. I would have. Would you? I would have. Uh, in terms of my, my injuries, like the when you look back at the way that the way that I did rehab and things mm. like that, I did what I was told. Yeah. But it's so different to what it is now. And I, I come back from I remember playing again at Chelsea under Marino at the back end of his career. And I was like, there's something wrong with my ankle. No, you just know like I was in mm. pain every time I was playing. I carried on playing, painkillers, blah blah blah. Uh, something they they scanned it, they missed it on the scan, and Mourinho's just like, no, he's he's ruthless. He's like, yeah. you either fit or you're not. And I'm like, well, oh, I'm sort of in between here, do you know what mm. I mean? So anyway, I've trained there, wouldn't let him have a day off, I'm training every day. And I'm like, it bu- I, I bit the bullet, because I remember I was just like, I put my foot, went to train, put my foot down, and I was like, like, made me, I felt like I wanted to cry, it was so sore, I went, right, that's it, done. Then I ended up, I had playing with a broken foot for about, <laughs> wow, for about two months. Who got some, sacked? Because someone missed it. Who got sacked? Nothing. So anyway, bang, went in the next day, had the operation, and it solved it. But you're like, you're risking like your health. You speak like, like Bob's had to get the. We've had to get the back out. Of <laughs> like, like, very privileged to got very, my own chair with backrest here. <laughs> so, like, you finish your career at 35 if you're lucky. 36, 37. Yeah. There's a whole life to live, and I, I like. Sometimes you see lads like hobbling out yeah. and all that. So like. That's that's us three in about yeah, two hours. I know. Time yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Us. yeah, we've I, got I a game of paddle later on, haven't yeah. we? So we we started taking painkillers already for the. Uh, He's a shark at paddle tennis. By the there's, way, there's, been, there's been a lot of talk, isn't there, recently? There's been a lot of hot air talk about paddle. So we, yeah. we'll see yeah. who comes Put up trumps uh, up trumps later on. Uh, right, Premier League. Mm. Um, let's have a little look. So Rafa Benitez been sacked. Mm. Uh, good decision by Everton, or the right decision by Everton. I, 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 I saw this as a, an accident waiting to happen as soon as he was having played for Liverpool, knowing the people and the, the feelings up there. Like when they signed him, I thought, who has made that decision? Yeah. That is never going to work, not in a million years. And I said it, and I know he had a good start, didn't he? The mm. first three games, he, he looked like, look, I'm not, and, and he's, a, he's, a good, he's a good manager, top manager, mm. but like certain managers cannot manage certain clubs, and you cannot be a legend at Liverpool. And manage Everton, and they just had no patience with him. That club is in disarray at the yeah. moment, absolute disarray. I think I knew I could saw it coming a mile off City, hundred percent. What what were we saying about? Obviously, big, big Dunk's been Dunk. been named temporary manager yeah. in charge. He's done well mm. previously, isn't he? In terms yeah. of when he's gone in, there's been a reaction. Do you reckon he deserves a crack? I reckon he deserve. He, he definitely deserves it. Do you reckon? <clears> do you reckon he would? Do you reckon he would take the opportunity if they if they offered it to him? I think they would this time. I remember him last time because we did the game at BT. Yeah. Um, when he got the last job last time, and it was like he was he's coming out. Of, no walking the team out. His eyes were bulging mm. like, and the, yeah. the Goodison Park was rocking. They won the game, and I thought hundred percent he's going to get the job here because the place was like galvanised. But then he come out. I think he come out after and said he didn't want it. Yeah. So you don't know his situation. Maybe he likes just being that club man and yeah. staying and helping mm. every manager. But I think I've got a feeling this time he thinks to himself, "No, nah, listen, we've had all, we've had Ancelotti, we've had Benitez, mm. Martinez." Like, but do you think do you think that's that changing room though? Like, uh, for me, I've said it yeah. probably about three or four yeah. times. <clears throat> for me, if you've got players that you know you can trust, yeah. maybe you know, I'm not sure whether he'll look at it and go, "These are the guys that are going to get." Mind you, it's January now. Yeah. Is he going to have some money to spend where he can go? Right, I'm going to bring three or four players in. The ones that are, I know, well, I Good feel point. that can go. Right, you're actually going to run through a brick wall for me. Yeah. Again, not those ones that are going to go, oh, I've got a cold, mm, yeah, or oh, it's yeah. a little bit nervy, yeah, yeah, all yeah. the fans are on our back. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's one of those, really. Recruitment has been, has, been a, has been a big thing, isn't it, with Everton. Going forward, whether yeah. it's going to be Duncan Ferguson, there's a lot of names mm. being tagged out, Frank Lampard, yeah. Wayne Rooney, Graham Potter from yeah. Brighton. Yeah. Uh, I heard Jose this morning. I was like, nah, 
that can't happen. No. Yeah, no uh, he, he's ruled himself out, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Where, where, who would you like to see? Who would you like to see? If it's not, if it's not Duncan, if it's not Ferguson, big dunk, I'd like to see. I think, I, I think, Frank is a safe pair of hands. Yeah. Up there, like for them, like a, a, a manager who's managed Chelsea, he's managed Derby, understands the Premier League. I think. He, for, for me, Frank as well. Sorry, just on top of that, Frank as well. If the worst thing happens, you know that he will guarantee you to get you straight back up. The yeah, following yeah, year, yeah, 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 yeah. What if Everton go down? Yeah, oh, if, like, I think that's a possibility. There's some. Oh. They've got some good players again, but it's how those players. It's yeah. very, very different being in down yeah. the bottom of the league yeah. than being at the top of the league yeah. and, and not having yeah, that. It's yeah, a very, yeah. very different yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah, the pressure yeah. from going for a title and the pressure from yeah. that is, is so different. And it's yeah. whether those guys, the ones that are in the changing yeah. room, the ones that are used to, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. A, I'm a baller, I'm a player. Yeah. Can handle that, and certainly those Everton yeah. fans are going to be like, yeah. you know what I mean? I want you yeah. to roll your sleeves up, run around, and smash yeah. somebody as well as do 15 step overs and, and, and makes a few people. If, if, I mean, they're down there, Everton. Who do you think are in trouble? Who do you think, who, who are the three that's going to be going down this year, Bob? The richest club in the world. I think they're gone. Do you think Newcastle yeah. gone to go? Yeah. yeah. Are you all about, so Norwich? Norwich, yeah. Burnley, they, they've always dangled their legs, haven't they, yeah. above the trap door, do you reckon it's they fun for them? They seem to be going for the technique of not playing any games and then they can't get relegated. <laughs> <laughs> Run the clock down. Yeah. Uh, so, what are, we, what are you saying? Norwich, Norwich. Burnley, Watford. Uh, who's, your, who's your three? I mean, Watford, Newcastle, yeah. Norwich. Newcastle, Watford, I mean, Burnley, Norwich. They're, they've always got they're that just, back of die shoot. Mm, like, yeah. Listen, yeah, smash, yeah. Stuff, smash you in the face, yeah, you know, yeah, run yeah, around yeah. really, isn't it? Yeah, they've um, they got a good dressing room, but they've got a good dressing room. Yeah. Right, and that, as you said before, that, that, that gets you points in itself. Um, we've got to talk West Ham, we always do, because the guests that we have on are always got West Ham connections. Champions League, do you reckon they can secure that? Oh, that's a big, big ask. I mean, it's interesting with this whole COVID situation, mm. with the European run that they're on, Cup, yeah. League, how are they going to juggle? They seem to be managing with it at yeah. the minute, but it's that many games. Yeah. That, that's, Strength and depth. Yeah. Have they got that? Can they just ride it through this season? But oh, there's some real big, big, big sides. You know, I think yeah. certainly Moisey. I think it's right. European football. If we can get that, that top yeah, six, then yeah. then that's the end. And maybe Nick, maybe Nick that European. Yeah. What, what do you see that they need? Do you think they they desperate for a striker? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just somebody just to back him up, just to back Antonio mm, up, yeah. really. And uh, yeah. What, why do you think they didn't make a more of an effort for Tammy Abraham in last window? He, he I don't like, think Tammy would want to go there. Do you not I, think so? No. I think... I think he's... Well, not, it, now, where, not now, Bob, but not in the summer. Because now West Ham, like, European... Now, football, yeah, but I don't, think, I don't think he would now. Yeah. I don't think he would now. I think, per, personally, I, I think his mind was, I'm a big, big player. I'm going, I'm yeah. going to a big, big name club. Yeah. He went to Villa and, 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 and done his thing. I think that was yeah. more of a... More of a, OK, I need to go get games. I need yeah, to go yeah, and get, yeah. Yeah, score goals, but... When he went back, he was like, "Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. bigger. I'm yeah. bigger. I should be playing at Chelsea week in, yeah. week out." And I don't think West Ham would 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 yeah. entice him enough. Forget the money side of it. I just yeah. don't think uh, it's a big enough name yeah. for him. Chelsea, yes. they play Spurs yeah. on Sunday at Stamford Bridge. Uh, they lost well last week, didn't they? One 0 to City. Joe, you covered the game. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that it now? I think is that's that it, it's over. Mate. Yeah, I think that's it. I think this has been such an interesting season so far because I've really thought Man C Chelsea and Liverpool would push Man City mm. all the way and it'll be really mm. tight. But Man City, watching them, we had a great vantage point watching where we was watching them and what they were doing, and it was just unbelievable. Yeah. The movement, the passing, it's just an outstanding way of playing that nobody this this season's been able to get a grip from. Yeah. So I think Chelsea have just. Had a bad six weeks and then they're out of the title race. Is that Do you know, I would I would so, so love Pep to go and manage at another club in the Premier League though. Not none of the, the top six though. Do you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's what I want to see now. To yeah, see if he can players. do yeah, 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 without yeah. a mad mad budget. I'm not saying yeah, that, yeah. but I just want to see I'd yeah. love to see that. Yeah. I'd love to see, right, he's gone there and yeah. he's gonna he's worked absolute wonders with these players. That's yeah. what I'd love to see. Never yeah. going to happen, I know, yeah. but... It's amazing here because you look at... We talk about Man United at the moment and yeah. the players buying into... Rangnick, Rangnick, Rangnick yeah. or, or not buying into his yeah. style. If a Pep would go to United with the same players there, mm. do you reckon he would change them around? 
I think he'd be better than what they're doing now. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. But, but I don't think I think that group of players is not the Man United group of players. I don't think they're capable of winning the title anytime. Even soon. with Pep no. in charge. Even but with Pep, really. Jose and Bill Shankly. <laughs> <laughs> was you was you surprised to see Chelsea because they was leading the uh, they was on top of the pile, wasn't they, for nine weeks leading yeah. the league. Everyone thought, here we go. Was you surprised when they slipped off the top that their surprised. character just I was and their personality dropped as well? I was surprised. I was surprised, but only because there was no signs of it, was there? Six yeah. weeks ago, it just looked like a, a well-oiled machine. And I was like, it was like that with Man City, yeah. weren't it? Mm. And then <clears throat> I think what's, what, what Chelsea and this critical of the club, I think they, and it's, this is more for the people upstairs, I think they've allowed like Christensen, Thiago Silva, Cesar, Rudiger, yeah. contracts all to run down to where they've run down to. Which causes a little bit of unease and, un- and unnerves people, you know. And then so they're that all can free. filter out. They, 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 you know, they're all con- they're all negotiating at the same time. Yeah. So their minds are coming into what it's a crucial part of the season. What am I doing next in six months' time with my family? Am I staying here? Am I going there? You know. And then that you know unsettles the ground. And yeah. Chelsea, like for everything Thomas Tuchel's doing great, the people upstairs have got to recognise that that to. You don't hear it at Man City. When do you hear someone going into the last year of their contract at Man City that they want to keep hold of? Yeah. You, they don't allow it to happen. They get the job done. Boys, I just want to finish on Man City quickly as well. Uh, with Pep in charge and Man City, do you think that they can now dominate for the next five, six, seven, ten years? I think they have. You can argue that they... I'm, I'm just sort of in, in terms of where United dominated with Sir Alex and the amount of mm. titles that they had. Do you reckon Man City, can, it's, that, it's now that, that cycle for them to go on? I, I think I think we're already looking at that. There's, yeah. I, I think with the benefit that Man City have had, they've watched Chelsea come in, be Chelsea the most successful team of the last 20 years since Roman come in. They, so they've watched what Chelsea's done, what, what Chelsea's done well watch what Chelsea could have done better mm. and they've come in and they've done exactly the same thing it actually took them longer to get success you remember because I don't know how long the, the, the Abu Dhabi boys have been there but it took them longer to get there they had a slower build up they had a, they had, to be fair they had a few more yeah. levels to go up than Chelsea yeah. Chelsea were nearly there so um, but like I said every time I go up there Sid, it impresses me yeah. so much how well structured it is and how like do you know even to the level like I went and watched the game up there and I sat in the, the director's box and um and the, um, the top man there, what's he like? The CEO was shaking everyone's hands as he mm. walked, you know, walks into the room, and, yeah. and I'm like, wow, that's, yeah. you know, you don't, it's a little impressive. They're on the path. They are, certainly yeah. are. Um, right, let's give you some coral odds quickly. If you think West Ham will beat Man United three two, coral will give you odds of thirty three to one, and it's fourteen to one if you think Everton will come behind to win uh, against Villa. So, good odds there for the games. Good odds. Uh, Right, Super Series, Chelsea v Spurs is the pick this week. Uh, They kick off on Sunday. So I'll ask you both uh, four questions Mm -hmm. and quick fires, okay? Uh, Who will win the match? Chelsea v Spurs at the bridge. Who will win the match? Chelsea. 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 Uh, Who, what will score be? Who, no, sorry. Well, who will score the first goal? Chelsea. (laughs) Who will score? Chelsea. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that answer <laughs> what's wrong with that you're covering all bases oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that nailed it one <laughs> what player will score the first goal oh, there you go that's a better question uh... I'm out John sorry I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying to buy more time <laughs> he's trying to be a Chelsea <laughs> player now Frank Lampard Frank Lampard uh I don't think I would say Lukaku, but I don't think he's in that place at the minute. He's not in that place. He might not play. Yeah. No. You think he won't great yesterday? That's what I'm trying to think. I'm racking my brains thinking, who are they going to play? Really? really, They're right for that that penalty. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to, yeah, yeah. Jorginho, penalty. Okay. Uh, How many corners will there be? Bob in the game? Seven. We know what you're going to be. 11 for Joe. (laughs) Uh, And how many players will get carded? Chelsea Spurs. Bed that battle of the bridge, wouldn't they? That famous game about seven years ago. Yeah. It's a bit tasty. The fact that the fans will, the fans will be a bit lively. Um, I'm going to go. 
I'm gonna go six bookings. Yeah, I think it'll be quite three, quite, quite a naughty one. Three or six. Yeah. Okay, mm. uh, people at home, you can play along too. Just head over to coral.co.uk, answer the questions correctly to win cash prizes. But Joe, what do we say about gambling? Responsible. Gamble please, responsibly. Please be responsible. That's right. Um, Bob's uh, brilliant. Listen, before we go, what's uh, what's the latest about? What are you up to? Me, I've got my paddle stuff in the back of the car. Me, you. Other pal Sam, yeah. we're going to put the the, the game uh, to rights today, right? Yeah, uh, we've got the anti flams. You've played, right? In. I've had I played a long time ago. Oh, he's putting that one in now. Oh, a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, I know. Look, can't, what are the rules again? Explain them. Yeah. <laughs> that old chestnut. <laughs> right, we'll see. Uh, Remember to find us on the Joe YouTube channel or wherever you get your podcasts from. You have been listening to All to Play For, brought to you by Joe and Coral. Bob, thanks. Joe, thanks. We'll see you next time. Cheers now. You've been watching All to Play For, brought to you by Joe and Coral.